Well, howdy, folks. Ah, beautiful day today. It's about 55 degrees out. Well, we ordered a new bike. It's one of those BD125-2 bobbers. RL was supposed to call me and deliver, and they usually deliver all of our coffee. I never have no issues with them. They're actually really good. And this guy never calls. I don't know who he is. And dumped the damn thing right in the middle of the freaking driveway. So guess I'm going to be taking it out of the box here and uh, putting it together. So I brought the tripod down here. I don't know what tool I'm going to need. Probably about a 10 millimeter. So let's see here. I'm going to see if I can screw this into the tripod. Let's see here. Well, my plan was to uh, take this in the garage and do it there. But obviously, uh, it's in the middle of the freaking driveway. So, let's have at it. What do you think, Chuck? Yeah, I'm guessing a signature would have been required on this to check for damage. So, fortunately, I do know the other guy who drives and delivers our coffee stuff. And I done let him know that this thing just dropped off in the driveway. So, it is what it is. And I can't imagine I got to do too much to it. Maybe uh, put handlebars on or something. What do you guys think? Take that to the burn pile, Chuck. Well, I don't see no damage. Probably. Put this in the front bucket of the uh, tractor. We have a box down here. Broke something come off. Ah, turn signal. Okay, so we got a busted turn signal. We uh, get hold of Belmont Belmont bikes about that. Another sucky part about this is it's sitting, my driveway is on a slope here, and uh, so it's sloping downhill. So, let's see here. I guess I could try to drag this thing off into the yard. Okay, so we gotta put a kickstand on it. Put that right there. We got a, another box 
packs of goodies. Yeah, what an a-hole. thing in the grass. That's going to be fun trying to pull that thing around. So, give me some options here. Well, while I got it here, let's see what we got. Uh, got a broken, poor little broken tail light. You don't look too happy. Let's see. That one's intact. That is a little bit loose. Sharp looking though. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to uh, see where the handlebars are. Here's the handlebars right here. Good thing I want a snake, right? <sighs> Speedometer looks good, no damage there. Well, I'm thinking. I'm thinking plan. What's my plan? Well, I suppose I could get the tractor and drag that crate, the metal crate, up. Uh, I gotta try to assemble the wheel and the handlebars, take the top part of this thing off. At least put the handlebars on. Get, the, get this wheel out of here. Well, I, I suppose it could be worse, it could be raining, or it could be snowing, so at least it's a, a sunny day. Alright, so can I get this wheel out of here without, oh, hey, there we go, there's the fender. Okay, we have a front wheel, and we have a fender. Let me set this over here for the moment. And I'm guessing this box of goodies in here. Uh, uh, let's be about 10 millimeter. And this box. Bag of this out of here. box of parts here. What's, what is in the box of parts? All right, let's see here. What do we got in this box? Okay, we have... <laughs> yeah, gotta love this Chinese packaging. We got an owner's manual. Oh, we got the shifter. Heel toe. Nice. And we got two handlebar brackets. Goes right there. And we got one, two, three, four, five.
five nuts laying loose in here. Unless there's more or something in this one. Ah, uh, looks like mirrors. Yep, that's two mirrors. Okay, so we got we got four screws here, and I'm guessing one's for the shifter, and then we got the other four for the handlebars, and that's that. So let me, they've already got the axle nut in, they've got the brake thing on, I guess I'm going to have to install this fender here real quick, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and take off some of these bolts. Take off some of this frame. And then, uh, oh, geez. I'm about to get the freaking, uh, I don't think this thing has a center stand, does it? Uh, yes. No. Maybe. Yes. It does have a center stand, so I can get it into the garage without having to dork with that. But I'll get this top one off so I can get the handlebars on. A bunch of nuts. Well, nuts coming handy. Well, it's Friday, so I can spend some time putting this together tonight. And I don't even know what that was. Nice reusable plastic palette. Put that in the backyard. Say freaking a hole already. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, let's see what we got here. Got handlebars and handlebars. I'd say the packing job was pretty good. I got they got that center one there. Oh, and of course, that's an eight millimeter. All right, be right back. All right, back again. Got an assortment of tools. Uh, see what I'm gonna need. They don't go down to eight. Uh, not to worry. the help of the mailman.
whole front yard is on a slope, so dilemmas, dilemmas. Well, I guess I could get the gloves and drag it up to this little flatter part to the yard. Hopefully it doesn't fly off of this thing. Land on the ground. Bitch trying to drag this thing in the gravel. Alright. I don't have a kick stand. Um, I don't think I can get it up on the center stand. backwards. I can't get the wheel on without taking that off, that lower bolt of that bracket down there, and I can't take the steering, put the handlebars on, because uh, I'm kind of leery it's going to tip over. Hmm. I'd say, huh, I'm open to suggestions. Um, probably should have just left it in the damn box and Got the tractor and pushed it up to the driveway and up to the garage. Okay. Um, let me ponder this a minute. I'll be right back. All right. Well, I'm back. I got it uh, pulled up the driveway a little bit. I don't want to give myself too much of a hernia. That is the fender, which I will do that last. 12. I don't even know what size these are down here. Let's see. Yeah. 17 millimeter. Yep, 17 on that end. 14 on the other. Uh, okay, so that'll work. <coughs> Let's see if. And now I'm going to have to loosen that bar. And get this out of here.
think this will spin out. I'm guessing the spacer is going to go on that side, brake drum on the other, and can I pull this off without dropping the damn bike? Probably not. Not by myself. So, probably have to wait for uh, Hottie Mama to come home and Give me a hand with this. Got a couple scuffs. Pretty nice looking though. I do like it. Already got some tires coming for it. Get rid of these street tires. We'll make it to a little scrambler of sorts. Uh, change out this carb. Put a VM22 on it. And. Got a different fender coming, a higher fender, more of a you know cabbie racer scrambler type fender. So I got a few things coming already. I just uh, wish they had not dropped this in the middle of the damn driveway. And surprisingly, this thing actually has a wheel, a steering wheel lock. I'll kind of go over some of this stuff once we got it all put together. Uh, I think Hottie Mama's always got a, already got a plan to redo the seat with some red stitching and jazz that up, put some, um, oh, whatever you call those little things. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, put some of those on there. That looks to be like emissions stuff. And, well, geez, I don't even put a clamp on here on this air tube, intake tube. So... I think I'm going to have to hold off because she's going to have to steady the bike while I try to get, well, we can get, I can get the steering and handlebars on, then she can hold on to that while I lift the front end up and put the uh, front wheel on. So we've got a front drum, rear drum. Of course, it's only 125 cc, so. Um, and I, honestly, I don't know what people's complaint is with the uh, drum brakes. A lot of our bikes have the drum brakes and they stop perfectly fine. So, um, take off this boom sticker here. Maybe I'll put a Honda one on there since I got one. Freak everybody out. I think it's an old Honda. Headlight. And it does look to be uh, LED. I'll be damned. But anyway, I got it from uh, Belmont Bikes. It was uh, $14.49 shipped um, to my house here. So, uh, getting pretty excited about it. Got plans for it. Maybe a little nice little project for it. Probably put a different sprocket in the front. Like I said, change the carb out. Um, I'm already looking at a CT70 exhaust. I think that'll fit right on here. But have it, uh, bring the camera over. Since I'm kind of dead in the water at the moment. Take off this lower exhaust here and get a CT70 and see if, it, if I can mount it up higher. Don't know. Have to look into that. But... Definitely love the little retro look. I wish uh, they made some other ones. I know they got the uh, uh, 250 version. They were supposed to get them here in October, and they said now they're not going to get them until probably spring. So I'm going to get one of those. I'd like to do some stuff with it. Kind of getting some ideas for some scrambler type mods on this. Maybe put an aluminum plate. Because there is a bracket here for something. I guess you can maybe move the shock forward. Uh, give it more of a lean. I'm guessing I'll check the other side. But if not, kind of 
use this bracket here, use this bracket here, make something to go in between here. You know. Um, okay. That's one down, three up. Gear shift is prohibited unless accelerator is loosed. Gotta love that one. All right, so I think I'm gonna pause it for the moment and move some of my stuff out of the way so she don't run over it in the driveway. And uh, continue this on when she shows up. So be back here in a little bit. All right, we're back. Hottie Mom is here to help me. Wave hi to everybody. Hi. All right, so we're gonna oh put this. Oh my gosh, it's so small. It's so tiny. Yeah, it's all jacked up, man. No. All right. Yeah, that broke right off, huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh, the housing and everything. So all I need you to do is kind of hold on to the bike. And I'll take this bar off, then I'll turn around and put the handlebars on. And hold on to those. Then that way I can move. I'll be able to take this bar off so I can lift it up and put the uh, front wheel on. And then from there, we can just roll it into the garage. Well, at least it's not a stupid locking gas cap. Mm -hmm. Well, as long as that freaking bolt. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, got that? Okay, the handlebars. They got lots of extra nuts. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, uh, I think I got those in the box over here. You know, this thing's got a heel-toe shifter, too. Does it really? Yeah. Cool. I like that.
Come with the grips on it? Yeah, come with the... Oh, that's kind of nice, though. Yeah. I mean, it's got the grips and mm -hmm. the levers and everything's already on Switches. That's all attached. Then you just have to put the beers on. Yeah. Sweet. What do you think, though, that they would ship these with the front wheel attached? The back wheel's attached. Mm -hmm. Why can't you attach the front wheel? I think that makes too much sense, huh? Nice. Okay, let's see here. That looks to be about a 10. For you folks watching, I'm just putting the handlebars on. Getting ready to put the front wheel on. We can readjust these later. Okay, we have to move those and see if they move. In. You good? Yep. All right. Now the fun part. <laughs> Getting the wheel on. Okay. Let's see here. How do you want to do this? Because uh, that. Tell you what. Let's, uh, it's wedged in there. Yeah. Let's kind of lift it up and roll it forward a little bit so we can get it off this metal. There we go. Alright, so I need this, need this, I need that. Yeah, the one I put on the Hawk 400. The Honda. Over that little fender, that little black. Where's the one that came with this one? Playing over there. Is it a long one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll check it out once we get in the garage. You may want it on there. Or maybe not. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> Guessing from underneath. Mm -hmm. That's good for you. Yeah. Okay. Let's go on. Squeeze that in. Tell you what, oh, no, that's going to. Not wanting to pop in there. Um, Back it up, set it down, and take it under the fork. Let's see if I can pull the brake in a little bit. These brakes look like that cardboard. <laughs> No. No, it just looked like a cardboard. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna squeeze that in there. Ah, come on. That turned 
to this part here. Mm -hmm. Make it go flat. That would make it go in a little bit more. Let me, um, let me get a turn needle this. Be right back. We can talk to our viewer. <laughs> yeah. A short pause while he goes to fetch some tools. Looks like it's going to be a fun bike. And fairly put together. A few small assembly steps and hopefully yours doesn't end up broken like this. <laughs> or maybe I need to turn that screw out. And So we can turn. No. Let's see. Here we go. Out. So if you get one, turn it out. This right here, your brake lever. Well, it's like. Squeezed. Does that make a difference? Uh, yeah. That's probably Is this why. squeezed in? Yeah. Sorry. Well, let's let's squeeze it. Good eye there, hottie. Let's see if that did the trick. So we turned this out 13 turns. There we go. Voila. So undo the brake. Huh? I was telling the viewers to undo the brake. <laughs> Put it back in 10 turns. Okay, now I'll tell you what. Um, how about if I lift this up and. Okay, cool. Well, we can both lift it up. I just need to have my bolt ready. Let me get this off. Huh? I want to get this off. Oh, oh look at that, man. You are good. <laughs> okay, we're going to lift it up. Him. <clears throat> oh, hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's get this thing lined up. through here. And we're not fucking lined up on this side at all. Gotta go in the damn slot. In the slot. Stay. Here. Now the side's back out. Jeez, old paint. Son of a bitch. That's your resting now. Okay. 
Tell you what, let's try. I'm gonna lift it up and uh, put that, see if you can kick that, put that center stand down. Brilliant. Okay. There we go. Now I just need you to hold a stick. That would have been sweet to think about before I'm holding it for um, 10 minutes. <laughs> That's uh, that's your that's your yoga for the day. Better late than never, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so that's lined up there. Kinda sorta. Let's see if we can get that to go up in there. And it's not wanting to. Break down here is this fork has got to come out, and that's got to go there. But then this shim over here. Okay, hold it right there. Uh, it's in the garage. We close? Nope. Got to come over. This way. There it is. We got it through. Yay. There we go. You know my gloves are right over there. I guess I could have put those back on, huh? Um, yeah, that might have stayed on your hand. A Genius. Little bit. Genius idea. <laughs> but we got the tire on, so go us. Super cute. Oh, They're so little. It is little. Super cute. Why don't you sit on it? It is super, super cute. <coughs> sit on it and check it out. You are on the center stand. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so little. You like that, huh? Mm -hmm. Really? I don't know, man. Okay. This may uh, this may replace your uh, <laughs> Kimco. Probably. Oh, go the other way. I like the seating posture. <coughs> Feel in command of the bike. Are you in command? Mm -hmm. Well, let's try it. wrong way. What the hell? Going backwards. Backwards? Maybe. They were real geniuses here. <laughs> All of these bikes seem to teach us something. Oh, yeah. Not spinning. What size was that one there? Uh, 14. I think I can go out. No, I got a 12. Everything mm. but that. 15. Yeah, no 14. Oh, well, we can tighten it up in the garage. We still have to put the foot pegs on. Um, let me get those. I mean, is that one of them? Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> I don't know okay, yeah. if they even came with the screws. What? There's no other screws in that box. Unless okay. they're already underneath the bike. Oh. Uh, which they might be. Cool. And it has the kickstand attached. Kickstand. Awesome. Let's see if there's if they left those screws under here for it. Yes, there are four bolts under here. And I need a 10 millimeter nurse. 10. Oh, hold on a minute, maybe in my back pocket. Way to go, nurse. <laughs> You know, I probably should have changed my clothes. Mm -hmm. Probably. Do you like the shots? Huh? Do you like the shots? I like the 
simplicity of the bike. I need to remember righty tighty lefty loosey. Well, the center stand is identical to the uh, Kimco. Yeah. I like how it has the kickstand attached. We have some paint marking right here, which I'm going to have to get a hold of Belmont. See that right there? Oh. I'd say it was scuffed up pretty good. Mm -hmm. Tell them to send me some gloss black paint. Good. It's not cracked or anything. You know, if they're going to put these damn things on this freaking tight, you think they could at least put the damn center stand on it? That is a sticker. What? Is that a sticker? Yeah. Oh, See well, it. I guess it's there to keep it from rubbing. We'll deal with it later. Where's that? Where'd that washer come out of? Okay, is there another washer? Oh, it's on here already. I'll tell you, those are probably the tightest damn bolts on this bike. Everything else will be loose. It'll fall off going down the road. <laughs> yeah, it does have some scrapes pretty good right here. Yeah. Birthmarks, man. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing, though, for a brand new bike. And it's come with a broken turn signal and scuffs. And... Well, it ain't a Honda. Yeah. And it also ain't got the price tag of a Honda. Well, it's true, but it's still a brand new bike. Well, it is. And what the? Don't tell me this has got to go up through here. Am I hitting anything over there? What am I hitting? Um, We've got to go on the other side of that. Hey, see if you can push that brake lever down. All right, now i got to turn. This has got to go up. That's not going to work that way. Come on, man. Sure, there we go. I don't know. I don't know. I think it can. No, it's got to go. But that brake lever well, smacks it's gotta. right into that exhaust. Huh? That brake lever smacks right into that exhaust. Well, I guess I'm going to, that's so, going to take an adjustment. All right, so this has got to go. Let me turn this case stand up. So, with that down, see these four bolts here got to come up. Oh, I'll bet, I'll bet it goes back in this groove. Huh? Come up where? All, all the way back. Oh, no. There. Okay, but now I got to get it flat. And what am I hitting on your side? Oh, no. Well, it's between the engine and the exhaust. So, where does it actually bolt to? All right. Yeah, let me come over here and look at your side. I know I should have just done that in the garage. Keep that back. And um, this bar's got to go flat. It's got to lay yeah, flat. Yeah, I know. And I don't really, I ain't got no room under here to turn it. It can't go. It can't come in from your side. It's got to go in from this side because that uh, exhaust pipe. And this is really out of your way. Yes. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, so there ain't no way. I got this this hump right here mm -hmm. has got to come back towards me, so it's not hitting this exhaust pipe. That or take the damn. See if I can loosen this exhaust stud up here, this header pipe, and drop it down to get this thing on. Because it ain't gonna turn. 
And let's see if we can come back this way. No, because see then, then it's hitting this bracket that actually okay, bolts. Okay, so pull it back out. Pull it back out. Okay, so let's try to get it. Hold on, man. I'm hitting this. Angle. Let me just take this damn exhaust pipe off. That salt that should that should drop down enough. What the hell? Let me guess. Twelve. See if I uh. See if I got a 12 millimeter over there. I'm guessing that's it. And of course, it ain't gonna freaking fit over. Well, that's not a 12. That's too bad. Maybe it is a 10. That's a 10. So what is it hitting? It's hitting the exhaust. That's why I'm going to loosen this up. Well, uh, it's just kind of stuck, so... Well, let me loosen this side over here. Let's see if we can do it this way. Loosen this up enough to give us a little bit of clearance, because mm -hmm. that thing's really not even on there tight anyway. So it goes. See if that'll give us enough room to. But does it go under the exhaust? No. Uh, I think so. Uh, it, well, it might. I mean, it's got a pretty good. Well, we can get it back out easily now, so let's see here. Now, what about that bar there? Let's show this. Genius. Okay, so it does go under. Yeah, it goes under. So, note to viewers you don't need to. Uh, unbolt the exhaust. You just need to drop down the uh, brake lever. But check the exhaust anyway, so because those bolts are not tight in there. Are you snickering up there? <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh oh. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Did it fall under the cardboard there? Mm -hmm. Good eye, Hottie. Got it. Yeah, maybe you did. That's that one. Finger tight. Well, just in there. Of course, there's no instructions, so if you get it, uh, the spacer, I've got the spacer between the uh, center bar here and the bottom of the uh, engine. Looks like it goes there. I could be wrong. Okay, are we hitting anything other than the exhaust, which I got to scoot back up? Cocky wobble. Mm -hmm. Hold on, man. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. I'll let you screw that one. <laughs> nice fingernail polish. Well, thank you. Looks quite lovely. Well, thank you. Don't let the pretty looks fool you guys. <laughs> she did, is not afraid to get her hands dirty. <laughs> okay, now this is probably going to call for a uh, socket. Socket to me, baby.
Now, don't make it like super like He-Man tight. Just good and tight. All right. Let me. Of course, I didn't bring out a freaking ratchet. <laughs> Brought the drill. Which... Just the rest of the garage. Yeah. Okay. You really on this bike? You need a. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough clearance for this under here. No. No, ma'am. I do not. Okay. Well, uh, give me that 10 mil uh, wrench. Uh, wrench. Let's see if I can get it this way. This stuff's in the way. Nope. You know what? I probably ought to just take the damn thing back off anyway and put some Loctite on it, but I don't think that's going on right now. But these other ones, I definitely need to get with a socket. So remind me when we get at the garage. Okay. Do I got to put anything else on? Or should I put mirrors on while we're standing here? Damn. They are in the box over there. And you want me to put that fender on? Do you want to see what it's going to look like, or? Well, I got one just in case. And see these these uh, turn signals ain't even tight. They're loose. Yeah, in there. I noticed that. Yeah, that's gonna be a real bitch to get a wrench down in there. Oh yeah, we. Uh, did you bring the screw for that? It was it? It's in the box. Okay. Well, I grabbed what I saw. I didn't know there was a screw. Here's our lovely owner's manual. And we'll put our shifter on. We'll angle it down a little bit. Did I throw that 10 mil back over there? Thanks, pal. Mm -hmm. You want it down like that? Or you want it up a little bit higher? This shifter over here? Um, down. You want this down more that way? Um, no. You want it up that way? Yeah. Like that? That looks pretty good. Okay. Now, on these, does this come off and go on the bottom? No. Or does it stay on? That stays on. Just okay. kind of screw it up. Okay. And then you turn them in, and then you turn that down to tighten it okay, down. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I'm not liking this uh, shifter screw. Let's try the other side. How the hell is that supposed to... That should go through. Unless it goes right here. Like so. We have one shifter installed. My god, that sun's bright. Sun. Thank you. Always say. Thank you, Mrs. Obvious. Huh? Well, our 
mirrors say dot. Oh, that's, you want me to put the fender on? Sure. Um, I don't know what size that is. 17 is too big. Uh, 12 is probably going to be too small. Yeah, so it's probably 14. So we'll do that in the garage. Oh, look at this cheap Chinese shit. Look I at this. Can't even paint the freaking inside yeah, of the fender. So <laughs> that damn lazy. See, I'm, I'm just not happy with that. So I bought another cheap Chinese fender to, to replace it. Hey, guess what? Ooh. See this? It's got a, a wire loop here for these wires to go through. And uh, that, I'm guessing you're supposed to put this uh, fender on, babe, uh, before you put it on the bike. Oh, before yes. You put the tire on. Absolutely, you are. But this is not even open. I like it, it's super cute. And you would have to take these wires off your brake line. Uh, your brake cable and your speedometer cable um, okay. in order to get them through those loops. Well, it's super cute. So, well, you think it's super cute now, but wait till we get the other super cuter. Um, yeah, you were probably supposed to put it on the light. Well, it's chipped yeah. up there anyway, but no, this is not even split. So you would have to, this yeah. one, you could cut it with a pair of, you know, um, side cuts. And then bend it back, but otherwise you got to take off your brake cable and your speedometer cable in order to put them down inside this hole. So that's a real genius concept, because um, yeah, otherwise the and you can't unscrew. These are riveted on, and it's dented. I might add. Oh my God, that is like the cheapest, thinnest metal. Hey man, people got to know. It's not high quality. Um, this is not high quality metal. I mean, the fender's okay. But as you can see, viewers, it's not painted underneath. So, um, in the meantime, I will attempt to bend this up so I can get it through here. See if I can get a screw in here. I like the heel toe shifter. You like that? Mm -hmm. Super simple, super cute. All right, yeah, it's. I mean, this sh this shit is all bended up and dinged up, and I mean that looks like shit. Yeah, it's not the the quality really just is not there. I mean, in my but, opinion, I mean, is the thing worth fourteen hundred dollars? No. No. No, not really. I mean, this is really. I mean, you can feel. Yeah, it's it just, not. It's just not finished well. It's kind of dented, and it's definitely scraped. Man, you gotta have some like little elf fingers. I can't get that. Maybe it's a 
not quite lined up properly. Huh? I'm trying to get this one screwed in. Oh man, I just came back in. Is that even screwing in? I like the fender. It looks, cute. looks cute. yeah. But, I mean, you tap anything, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> it ain't going to stay on there for long. And of course, I told you this is going to take us, what, 15 minutes? <laughs> I think we've exceeded our time limit. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing it's not like a game show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big fat losers. We are big fat losers. I know. Well, I'm a big fat loser. I don't know, but you, you ain't fat at all. So. Whatever. No way. Yeah. Huh? Yes way. Okay. I'm trying to get this one in now. Well, hi Molly. Hi Molly. What are you doing, girl? We'll make her. We'll make her shop dog. What are you doing? Are you feeling the, rowdy? Mm. Change your name from fat dog to shop dog. Okay, I think we're to the point to where we can get it off this stand, roll it in the garage. All right. Check, make sure we at least have some oil in it, that crap they call oil, and uh, start it up. Tighten this thing down. And uh, what else do I got? Oh, I got to tighten that bracket underneath, so don't forget to remind me of that. Yep, super Take that cute. Off. Super cute. We didn't take off our plastic here, babe. Not yet. Got to take it off to get the maiden voyage into the garage. <laughs> right. Um, I'm going to put all this stuff in that in that box real quick so it don't blow away. Okay. And then I'll just, I'll just take it out tomorrow. Okay, so there it is. Pretty finished. But you can kind of see, you zoom in a little bit right there, kind of how dinged up and dented and scratched. Yeah, and it looks, uh, this looks pretty shitty here, yeah. honestly. But and it's, it's threaded for some, there's another thread here, mm -hmm. and it looks like that was going to be punched for a thread. So maybe it was a... And on the other up? side, it yeah. is the same way, so... I don't know. I'm wondering if they make some sort of, um, you know it would be really super cute on this thing, is if they had a rack that came back, mm -hmm. you know, a little luggage rack. So, yeah. and maybe over there in their market, they do have something. That mm -hmm. or you can, you can move this forward, this shock mount forward. Mm -hmm. That damn screw looks crooked. Yeah. And then this is your seat mount. Um, this here's your fender mount mm -hmm. but I don't think it would take too much to utilize if you move your shock forward one mm -hmm. use this mount right here but I think they've got that now they've got that studded into that hmm. so okay our non-functioning yeah that was the other thing yep okay so broken turn signal Broken turn signal. Settling of contents during shipping. Mm. All right, so we're gonna take her off the stand. Wait a minute, that must be no. a gear. No, it's got, um, yeah, there we go. Okay, let's take her up to the garage, baby. Okay. Then we'll come back and get tools. Okay. Well, you guys get the gist of it. We'll be back uh, with more updates as we uh, search it over more. Yeah. we got to put gas in it and fire it up. So everybody... All right. We're back in the garage. I got the bottom piece uh, bolted up. I got the fender bolted up. Fender is a piece of shit. The little bracket uh, that these wires are supposed to go through uh, broke right off. So... Uh, got the key in, battery, apparently it's not hooked up, so you're going to have to take a 
10 mil. And loosen the bolts for the back seat. And take the back seat off. I'm pretty sure, well, maybe not. I don't see a battery under there. So let me put that back there. Battery is might be under this plate on the side that you're seeing because that's an evap canister over there and that is a Phillips. So do I have a Phillips? Yes, All right, let's check and see if the battery's hooked under here. I don't want to take another picture of these uh, scuff marks because it's got quite a few. Yeah, the battery's not hooked up. Well, I guess I'll run that shit tonight. Some... Tonight? Yeah. No. No. Don't get a hold of LJ and say, LJ, take the stuff down there. Um, so we have the battery right here. All right, we are back again. We're gonna hook the battery up. It is nothing special. It's not an AGM. Well, it is an AGM, but um, it's not one of those light lithium kind of batteries. So let's get this on here. Well, there is no strap in there. See, that's my screw. Let's go. Now let me look further. I don't see any strap to hold the battery in. So, might get a little bit of vibration with your battery. Smooth running bikes. Alright, babe. Your heat on here. Huh? Okay, we have the battery is installed. Turn my key up there and see if we got any power. Yeah. Oh, we got power, guys. Check the oil here real quick, make sure it did ship with some oil. And that is um no, I don't even get that backwards. Because I don't think that battery goes in there anymore. I guess that's gonna be that. Yes, we need a little pack of money. I don't think our brakes work good. What? 
is, guys, a little slot kind of on the side here, right here, that these cables kind of kind of go through. Okay, Jordan says she can take them down tomorrow, but she has to be back early. She has to get them early. Well, that's fine. Just tell her where they are. Okay. Sorry, guys. Talking shop while we're putting the bike together. Okay, so let's see here. We got a neutral light, bright, low beam, high beam, which I don't really uh, I really don't see no difference between low beam and high beam. <laughs> Maybe you guys can see a little better than me, but here's your low beam. And here's the high beam. I'm not seeing any difference. So I'm guessing there is no high beam. So, horn works. Even the broken turn signal works. Right and left turn signal work. Okay, so we're good there. Oh no, it is a, babe, it is a locking gas cap. Oh, I wonder if it had that little knob on it. Can't a trick to getting this off. Nope. Okay. Let's put a smidgen of gas in it. And not get it on the dog. Dead. Don't mind the garage. We're bringing all the plants in now that it's getting frosting out. And not to mention we got a ton of other bikes in here. That should be enough for testing purposes. Okay, I'm looking over here. I don't see a sight level for the oil. So let's take the dipstick out and see if we got any oil in it. Yes, there is something resembling oil. Okay, I see the fuel filter has got fuel in it. <coughs> Alright, what do you say guys? Should we try turning it on? Should I take all my plastic things off here first? Because we all know we have this moment of anticipation and you're probably thinking the guys probably forgot to put the gas cap back on it. Nope, it's over here on the table. There we go. Give it a turn. Turn it out. So it does have a locking gas cap. Do we have a choke? Uh Bring you over here for a second. All right, we got. I'll show you some of the defects here. Okay, this area right here, where my finger is. There was a clip there. These wires are supposed to go into it. Freaking broke right off. Oh no! Yeah, and then we got. I know the cam. I got the camera on the tripod, so excuse the angle. We've got scuffs right here where my fat finger is. And then we got more scuffs up under here. I zoomed in. Right there. Okay. 
you already got that. So let's go over here. I'm going to show everybody where the there's a choke. There is a choke on this bike. It is right here where my finger is. Your choke. And at this point, I don't know if that's off or on. I don't know. We'll find out. And here's the fuel thing. So, babe, can you see, read that, and tell me if the fuel is on? Because I can't read it. switch is bad. It looks like that bottom bulb is not working at all. Well, and that's a running light. That should be a running light. The bottom bulb is not working. Okay, so what is this? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. There it is. There we go. Okay. So, wait a minute. Now, did that change? No. They're both on. They're, wait a minute. Both those lights are on? Yes. Oh, no. I meant, like, underneath here. That should be a hot... Okay, see the flash? Is not even working. No, not with that other light on. Okay, something's weird. Something's weird with these lights, guys. Okay, it does actually have a headlight switch on the right side of the bar. Um, okay, so that's just so, a running light and the passing light. Yeah. And now is that working? Is that passing light working? No. It was. There it is. Okay, so that is the bright. Because the bright light comes okay. on when you hit the flash to pass. Mm -hmm. But when you turn the brakes on, the light comes on, but the light's not working down here. So, I think there is a problem with the switch rubber. I mean, they all work. No, the high beam, high beam's not working. It only works when it's on flash to pass. Ooh. Okay, so, yeah. low beam. First, these are off. But that's really weird, because they're both different colored bulbs. So, but yeah. they're both on. Okay, and you do have a light for the speedometer. All right, let's, uh, let's see really right. <laughs> let's see if it starts. We are in neutral. So now was, uh, I'm guessing the choke needs to be up. Yep, choke is up. Pause this for a second, guys. Well, okay. Back again. Got it running. Uh, I'm going to let it run for a minute. I still got it choked. Um, waiting to see if some of this engine lube or crap or whatever it is they got in here burns off of it.
This thing is driving me nuts. Well, as you can see, in this garage, it's smoking like a freight train, but I'm going to wait and see if that burns off. in the garage here well, my battery is dying so I'm gonna let this burn off for a minute and then uh, come back here in a few minutes to see and uh, let you know what the progress is on it okay uh, this is very important if there's anything you get out of this is uh, you've seen it smoking really bad I don't know what the hell kind of crap oil they put in these damn things, but uh, I just let it run for a little bit. It wouldn't stop smoking, so I just went ahead and turned it off. Drain the oil out, which is a good thing to do anyway. Don't ride it, because the drain plug was even loose. So drain that shit right out of there, and then uh, just put, you know, the T4 15W40. Uh, it's what I use in every single bike we have, and it is the Rotel uh, T4 15W40. And as you can see now, she's running, and she's not smoking like a freight train. So, let her burn off a bunch of that crap still, and take it for a spin, and let you know uh, what we think of it. So, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, guys, back again. Took it down the street, and it doesn't seem to be smoking as bad as a freight train. I'd say it smokes more than uh, I feel as though it should be smoking, but uh, time will tell. Okay, things I noticed so far that I need to look at. Triple tree thing makes a hell of a racket. Uh, that may need to be adjusting. The speedometer is not working. I drove it up and down the street, and as you can see, it still says five-tenths of a mile. So, things we've got wrong. Let's go down the list here. That thing broke on the fender. Speedometer doesn't work. Brights don't work from the switch. Uh, backlight was broke. We got scratches in the paint. I can live with that. Um, the oil, uh, like I said, totally change. Just just change the shit. Don't even, you know, just run it. Make sure it runs, and then let it warm up. Drain it out, and put the oil in it. But definitely check your uh, drain plug because this one was loose. Uh, we definitely have some vibration in the front, and I don't know. I'll try to track that down. I don't know. If it's, nah, I think I just found it right there. I think it's just, like I said, piece of shit fender. You can see, you can see right there. It's bouncing right up against that. But um, easy enough. You can put a piece of foam in there and uh, wedge that in there, and that should keep that from vibrating. But definitely, it feels like the triple tree is kind of uh, loose. So I will check that. Uh, definitely got a little bit of vibration in the back here, and I'm guessing it's from this taillight assembly. So I will check these bolts here in a minute. But uh, neutral has been hard as hell to find so far, but I'll give it time to warm up, break in a little bit. Um, what else? It's sputtering bad. Uh, so, and I know that's fresh gas, so. And there is no adjustment on these carbs. So, like I said previously when I got it, I was going to upgrade it to a VM22. So, that'll probably be sooner rather than later. But I'm going to get a hold of Belmont Bikes because, honestly, I'm not too happy with it. You know, uh, I mean, I've had a Hawk. got my two. We got our two Life and Bikes, the Expect and the KPM. Outstanding build quality. No issues with the bikes. Uh, now, this bike is fairly comfortable. The seat is comfy. I'll give it that. Uh, it does have a nice bounce to it, so it's not really harsh. But I'm not ruling it out yet. I'll just uh, I'll give it some time and some tweaking and get a hold of Belmont and see if they can send me either a whole new front brake assembly, uh, 
the cables are hooked up. I've done disconnected it twice down here, right there, and be careful with that. That bolt will like to strip. So, and it's, I mean, it's just loose in here. So I don't know if this cable is a bit too short, but something's definitely not right. And it is definitely hooked up under the speedometer there. So I will uh, keep you guys posted. But, I mean, I love the way it looks. Don't get me wrong. This bike, I think it looks badass. You know, for what it is. Uh, you know, kind of bummed about some of the quality issues. But, you know, there again, Chinese bike. Can't say I expect a whole lot. But, I mean, it's super retro, super cool. And I think, you know, we can do things with this and dress it up even more. Make some changes to it. Um... You know, here's our Kimco, and we have another one of these. We have a black one too, and these are super cool. They are super cool bikes, super fun to ride. Um, really like them. They're not speed demons by any stretch, but you know, I got some plans to do that. But I've been trying to just test different bikes and you know see what we like. Well, I know we like low to small displacement bikes because um, we like things a little bit on the lighter side. But yeah, I've got some tires coming uh, actually. Where are they at? Um, you can't really see them. This back tire here uh, on our Trail 90. I've got another set of these coming, and we're going to put those on to th uh, this new black bike, BD 125, and kind of you know scramblerize it up a bit. And you know, I'm, um, I, I think we'll we'll get all the bugs worked out of it. So. I mean, worst case, you know, stupid headlight switch, you know, have Belmont send me another one, have them send me a speedometer cluster, front brake thing, or a cable, you know, and I'm sure they will. I, I got my KPM from them, and uh, they were really responsive to, you know, a couple of issues I did have right from the get-go. Um, so I think they'll take care of that, but I will definitely keep you guys posted. So uh, we'll be back. All right, howdy, folks. I want to give a little update on our BD... 125-2, uh, which we're going to call the big dog now. Um, I just want to... The quality of it, definitely crappy. You know, without a doubt. Uh, you've seen some of this stuff that we were talking about with, like, underneath these fenders and stuff. Not painted. Um, rattles. Rattles like a son of a bitch. But uh, there are a couple fixes you can do. Ow. Bang my head powder coating some parts uh powder coating the center uh foot pegs for our badass trail master 80 anyway this tail light vibrates like crazy so what i did is uh there's no there's no gasket in here so what i and i thought well you know i just put silicone in there but i remembered i had some um liquid electrical tape which kind of dries like rubber. So I took the tail light off and I put some on the inside here. And then I took this back plate off right here and then I put some on the inside of this. And pretty much solved that vibration rattle. Um, this shock was squeaking some, so I just turned this thing around some. Was messing around with that, got that to stop squeaking. Still has a little bit of a hesitation um but i'm gonna put another carb on it so i really don't care and let's see i have uh we have wheel mounts and i know when you if you guys get one of these before i mean i know you're gonna be excited to, to get this thing together and get riding it but check while you got the handlebars off uh it ain't gonna be too much more just to go ahead and take the, this bolt here and that one there off and that way you can lift the top of your triple tree off and your bolt your head bolt is right here ours was looser and cracked good out of the driveway it's like thump 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 so uh since you're going to unscrew this and take it off just take some wheel bearing grease lob the shit out of it and uh tighten it back down put this back on that really helped with a lot of the uh, rattle so that was that. What else do we got here? Uh, I put me a grill on here. The headlight, uh, it actually wasn't the switch. 
I uh, took the headlight apart and the uh, the LED bulb wasn't sitting in there properly. So now the bright lights work. And what else do we have here? Okay, it's got a heel toe shifter right here, which, you know, I guess is okay, but um, I don't like it. I think I'm going to take this thing off and just put a standard shifter on it. Uh, you can use the heel part of it, but it's kind of annoying when you're when you're riding and you got your foot sitting here. It feels like your foot's hitting something, which it is. It's hitting this. So um, that should solve that. And what other issues? The speedometer is still not working. It is missing a gear. So I hope to hear from Belmont tomorrow. I took the wheel back off again, and it's definitely missing something on inside of there. And it looks to be a gear. And of course, they're aware of the tail light. I'm going to have them send me some uh, gloss black paint. But we are kind of pondering here um, some of the mods we want to do to this. Obviously, the carb. But, you know, in all honesty, um, I was kind of kind of stuck on the quality, which, you know, it is, it's just, it's not a life and it's not a, it's not a Kimco and even, even the Kimco, you know, I mean, it's nice, but I'm sure you hear the, hear the squeaking from it. And, but I'll tell you, the little thing's got some balls to it. Uh, shifting is uh, still kind of, kind of notchy, but you know, uh, it's got, I don't know, maybe 15 miles on it. So I'm going to let it wear in and I know that'll get better, but even with this crappy stock car, <laughs> the damn thing I want was pull a wheelie. So it's pretty impressive, and it uh, feels much quicker than the Kimco 125. It's just, uh, you can't compare the two bikes. They're, they, they, they handle different, they ride different. Kimco's much smoother. Um, yeah, it's a really nice, super nice bike, um, but we got plans for it too. So, I took it out today, since my speedometer don't work, and they're usually uh, inaccurate, I stuck my phone up, GPS verified, had this thing top out at 50 miles an hour, so, and it was running pretty good. The wheel balance is an issue, um, I was hoping that the adjusting of the stem bolt would fix that, but it helped, but it's still bouncing, so, and it does have fork oil, I verified that. So my next step will be to true the front wheel, make sure it's good and straight, good and tight, and possibly replace the uh, fork oil. I don't know what's in it. Uh, it was pretty clear, so I don't know. We'll take that out, and I'll do an update later on that. And just kind of thinking about what we're going to do with this. It's a fun little bike. Uh, quality issues aside, it is definitely, we love the retro styling. It's, the seat's actually comfy. These rear shocks are adjustable, so I'm going to adjust those up because it's definitely got a bit of a bounce. And here is one thing I found when looking at it. Okay, see this tube here? It's a silencer. So if you look down at your exhaust here, on this left side there's a screw hole. You can take this thing out and it makes it sound a lot better. So let me fire it up. Sounds pretty good. Much better than with the silencer in. So I didn't even know, was aware that it had that. I noticed it when I was doing something else in the, uh, whatever, just looking around and shit. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if that's a silencer. Took it out, sure enough. Definitely sounds much better. I mean, when you compare the sound of that to, let's see here, this Kimco. Which, let's see here. Uh, God damn. Let's see, get to this other one. Let me put some choke on. I haven't had this in a run today. But you can hear.
definitely got a much meatier sound to it. So anyway, I will uh, wrap this portion of it up. I'm going to I should hear from Belmont tomorrow, get some parts in the mail. Already got a carb coming. So we'll take that out, see if that solves the uh, little hesitation issue. One thing I don't like, I mean, it's got the emission stuff on it, but this thing right here, this is part of the emissions, um, EGR, or what is that called? Secondary, secondary air injection. A lot of people take them off, uh, which is fine if you take your cat out. But I don't know if uh, capping this thing off uh, may cause your cat to burn up. So I need to look into that a little bit more. But, and I don't think the new VM22 carb I got coming has any type of uh, vacuum. So, and this is your EGR canister. So, and it comes right off of your choke here. But I should be able to cap that off anyway. That shouldn't affect it none. But anyway, uh, stay tuned for more updates. All right, howdy folks. Um, I'm just gonna give another quick update on this and then I'll uh, get it posted and um, add to it. All right, one of the things that I did do in our last video, I, I talked about the fork oil and what I ended up doing is I drained out the fork oil and it did have four ounces and uh, each side so I went ahead and drained it out and I put four ounces of uh, automatic transmission fluid in it and because I know the older Hondas required AT, you know, used ATF and it worked fine actually it uh, lowered the air pressure they had it at about 40 uh, I put it down to about 30 and that seems to have solved that problem with the wheel hop uh, the bounce in the front end and then the other thing I wanted to show, and I think it's on this side of the carb. Okay, well, number one, I got a VM22 carb, and it is too big. Uh, the exhaust was getting super hot, and so I may have to go with another PZ20, but what I was playing around with I was looking at this carb to see if there's any adjustments on it. Well, as you can see right here where my finger is, that's your idle adjustment. There is a cap that sits over top of this. If you dig it out uh, with a pick, uh, this is your air fuel mixture. So you can actually adjust this carb. And I do have a jet kit coming for it. Uh, the stock, I believe the stock uh, main jet is a 75 or a 78. I can't remember off the top of my head now. But I do have a, a jet kit coming for it, so, but I did turn it out about a quarter of a turn, and it is uh, definitely running a little bit better. Uh, it doesn't seem to be hesitating as much. So I have been working with Belmont uh, on this thing, and they are sending me some parts. And I think uh, another issue, I mean, I got it on the kickstand now, but I need to put it on the center stand. When I have it on the center stand, you can see that the back fender is... Uh, not straight with the wheel and I think the uh, swing arm is bent uh, I was playing around the other day adjusting readjusting the chain and I can't get it quite right one side is about two and three quarters the other side is about two and three eighths so um, and I did true the wheel I trued the back wheel I trued the front wheel and I trued the back wheel and then I then I turn around and put the sprocket on it to make sure it was good and straight and it was so um, I think the swing arm is a little bit bent, a little tweaked, so I'm waiting to hear from them on that. But took it for a ride today, and it was running pretty good. Uh, I adjusted the clutch out. There is your adjustment right up here at the bar, right here where my finger is. You can adjust that out, and then you also have another adjustment right here. So if you take this, if you get one, you take it, it, get it, and let me see if I can get this thing turned up here so you can see where the nuts are. You can turn it out. You can tighten it up or loosen it out. Loosen it out. Because um, I know when I got this one, the um, clutch was, uh, as soon as you put it into gear, it was trying to go even with the clutch, you know, fully pulled in. So... Uh, adjust this and then do your fine fine adjustments at the uh, handlebars so but I'm making progress with it um, got a new headlight for the back 
we're going to stick on here. Here is the stock one. And then we got this uh, pretty cool retro looking one we're going to stick on here. And it does have the light underneath the light of the license plate. So that's our next mod for it. So I just want to give an update. Uh, I'll get this posted and then we will continue doing a few other things to this thing. And uh, keep you updated. Have a good one.